I just find the whole series bullshit. Wayland? Nope. I'm going to Exorcism right here. I'm going to Exorcism. Oh, Capital Shipyard, huh? Awesome. Jesus Christ, I'm getting pounded. Growing pains, I think so. Oh, hey, look, Wayland. I actually have a fleet there. Where the hell is Wayland? But uh, the second battle for Mon Calamari actually had... Uh, oh, hey, Marijade. Awesome. Should be Marijade Skywalker, though. The second battle for Gino, uh, Mon Calamari actually had uh, Captain... Captain... Hold on. Wait, let, let, let's... Let's let it all sink in. It's a battle for Mon Calamari. Now, what fish head do we know the most about? Hmm? Let's see. It starts with an A. And it ends with a sound of snack bar. There's another lady luck. Okay. Uh, did you get it right? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Akbar. <sighs> Akbar. Captain Akbar. Now, I know he wasn't always a... Oh, hey, those are the A9 Vengeances I was talking about earlier. I, I know it's not a surprise that Admiral Akbar was once a captain once, but, you know, this is a couple... Decades even before, holy shit, Venators, huh? Nice. Before uh, the Galactic Civil War and the climax of the Galactic Civil War, which is the Battle of Endor, I believe. Like, I don't know the exact dates. Like 18 or so, BB, uh, a yeah, ABY. Whoa, okay. Retreat. Right, you know what? No, that's not even worth retreating. Auto resolve. Oh shit, I just lost Mirror Jade. Oops. Oh well, she was just in another lady luck. That doesn't matter to me. What the hell is that little thing? Wow, I lost everything. Perhaps I should have retreated. Oh well. But th the fact that they have Akbar in one of their episodes. It, it doesn't advance the... Oh, okay, I guess there was no fleet there. It, it doesn't advance the storyline at all. There's also one episode that... Basically, uh... Obi-Wan, Anakin, and... That one little bitch... Uh, what, what's her face? Uh... Ahsoka. That's it. Uh, they, they land on a planet, and... It's symbolic for the uh, the fact that Anakin's the chosen one, but it pretty much gets nothing done beyond that. So that's great. And it was an absolute waste of an episode. Boring as hell, might I add. But one thing that I found pretty interesting is that uh, What's-Her-Face also saw her future self. And... Uh, so I, I guess that sort of entails that she survives Order 66, which is <sighs> disappointing. I mean, the, the Clone Wars sucks. It sucks. Whatever they touch sucks. They even ruined the elite Clone Commando Delta Squad. Of all things, right? I mean... How can they ruin a badass group like Delta Squad? Well, okay, let's let's bring it to a kitty level. <sighs> yeah, and then you get that. Tamara Morrison didn't even uh, voice Boss, and they had like all of two quotes, and I was looking forward to that whole episode. Since the reveal trailer. And I'm... <sighs> Poor show, guys. Poor show.
poor, poor, poor show. I mean, e even with the episodes of The Mandalorians, The Mandalorians they ruined with bringing out some slut of a Mandalore, Mandalore, air quotes. I actually read up on it. I actually uh, tried myself, and I actually read up on the new Mandalorians, and it said that they gave up their armor they gave up their armor for peace. <laughs> uh, it's, oh, hey, Rurik 7. Crap. It, and, hold on. It, uh, on a happier note, hold on. I have, I actually have some good news for you guys. They say that they don't follow the Mandalore. Now, what's so important about that is, is... In its core sense, Mandalorians are the sons of Mandalore. And if you don't follow the Mandalorian or Mandalore, you're not a Mandalorian. So I don't consider the new Mandalorians Mandalorians. They're not Mandalorians. They don't follow the Mandalore. They don't they're not even warlike. They're there are a oh hey, it's a Ruix seven. They are an extremely poor excuse for a placeholder. Maybe I can kill a Ruix 7 right now. What the hell? Wow. Cloud. Shadow. No. Kill. Okay. Guess not. Auto resolve. We have been defeated. Oh well. What a shame. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, well, they lost uh, flame tanks and rocket scouts. Yeah, they can have that planet out in the middle of Bufu, Egypt. I don't care. What makes you think I care? I don't. Free planet? Hell yeah! Give me that free planet. I ought to uh, fortify it heavily and... Okay, I'm attacking this time, I think. Heavily fortified, and when someone attacks, then they get their ass beat because that's a free planet. So that that's something slightly encouraging and somewhat discouraging, because LucasArts, they don't even know their own content anymore. They don't know what Mandalorians are. They don't know what the badasses they could be are. And to make things worse, going into the lore here of Star Wars, going into the books of Star Wars, if you've read uh, Karen Travis's portrayal of uh, Mandalore, the planet, in her... Uh, Republic Commando and her other series. What the hell? Oh, Tide Droids. Awesome. If you've read her books, you would know that Mandalore is a rural planet. So, hills and farms. And in the Clone Wars, there is cities, massive populaces on Mandalore extremely disappointing. In peacetime, Mandalorians were farmers. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. They w actually were farmers. And are. And are family men, too. Okay, let's do that lure. Let's see how effective that is. Wow, a bunch of fighters everywhere. Frame rate stable. Ah, uh, I think someone turned on the air conditioner. Thank God. Oh, this is going to be a long, gruesome battle. So that's something really encouraging. Ah, man, I need to hunt.
I, I need a hunt ability. <laughs> what the hell is this?